Hello, my name is Shahid Jamil and I am the CEO of the Welcome Trust DBT India Alliance. In this video, you will hear from existing fellows of India Alliance who will tell you about their experience at the interviews, what they did in preparing for the interview, what sort of experience they had at the interview, were there tough questions asked to them, how did they face those questions? Were there some unexpected questions? It's always interesting and important to hear from somebody who succeeded at this to get useful pointers. So enjoy the video and all the best. Before entering the room, uh, one is definitely intimidated because the who's who in science is actually going to critically evaluate your proposal. When I walked into the interview, I was very relaxed and because I was relaxed, I think I could just be me and I think really that's what the committee needs. They just need to see who you are. It was one of the most comprehensive evaluation in terms of interview I have ever faced. I was very nervous. I went inside, um, I had a short presentation and then we went straight to questions. One lead interviewer who had asked most of the questions and uh, this was uh, sort of a good thing to do because you're not being bombarded by questions from all over the place. What I had to do was concentrate on really delving into the core of my program and find out what is it that was absolutely novel. There are sort of two different audiences in that room. There'll be some people who've read your work in great detail right? and these people are going to ask you questions at, at a very high level. But there's another group of people who are in there um, who may not know anything about your work and you have to convince them it's exciting. You have to prepare for both these uh, audiences, the ones who know your work and the ones who are just general scientists who you need to reach out to. The questions from the panel ranged uh, uh, from outlining my proposal to experimental details to backup plans. Uh, in fact, uh, my work involved a dissection of tissue and the panel asked me to detail out how I would go about doing the dissection. Overall approach of the panel towards uh, the presentation of the protocol as well as interaction was quite positive. Even the potential limitations of uh, the uh, research project were communicated in a very balanced and uh, constructive way. In a good interview you get good criticism. Maybe the way one responds to such criticisms is one thing they're looking for. The choice of the lab I was joining, uh, the kind of work the lab did, not only that, I was actually bringing in molecular biology expertise into the lab at that point. Uh, so, uh, in turn, I was starting out the project based on my strengths. So, some total of all these factors uh, uh, gave me a good amount of confidence to face the panel and that, I think, worked for me. One need not feel anxious to face the interview panel. It is not at all anxiety provoking and especially if one has done the homework of the preparation, it is a very smooth and uh, enriching experience and uh, it will indeed be a memorable and a, a pleasant endeavour of uh, interactions with the India Alliance Grants team. At the end of the day, it was a very satisfying discussion that I had with them. The preparation for the grant proposal submission itself is a process which could span many months and similarly preparation for the interview uh, is again a process which could span for many weeks. I focused on two aspects for preparation for the interview. Uh, the first was uh, the proposal and its defence and the second was uh, defining my future goals. I made myself familiar with the format and uh, then I spent adequate time in uh, preparing uh, the slides as well as uh, rehearsed the presentation with uh, the collaborators, some of my peers who are quite familiar with my research. In the various lab meets and lab discussions which I had with my mentor and lab colleagues, I would discuss with them various aspects of the proposal. The panel uh, is actually rooting for you. They want to see you succeed in that interview. And, and they're looking for reasons to get you to succeed. Um, and, and so it's up to you to, to live up to that expectation. Focus uh, on your strengths. Uh, give a thorough thinking about your proposal. Just uh, think about your proposal through and through. Discuss it with, uh, with other people so that it gives you uh, uh, 
different perspectives and uh, be confident to face the panel. At least one person in the room who's really excited about your project, and that's you. Right? So you need to go in there knowing all your stuff and being excited about it. Having thought about these aspects for the preparation of the interview actually uh, not only helped me ace the interview, but it also gave me clarity on how I should path my research uh, uh, and to achieve my goals. Being an India Alliance Fellow is an excellent platform for developing as an independent scientist. Right from the time of grant proposal submission uh, till implementation as well as ongoing uh, uh, project related uh, issues, the support that I obtained from the India Alliance staff is commendable and appreciative and it's indeed very prompt. The Alliance is an extremely easy organization to work with. They're very flexible, very supportive, you can always get somebody on the phone to answer your questions. Over the last three years or so as uh, in my fellowship, um, I've had very good sustained scientific feedback that has helped us error correct early on. And like I've said, this is the most valuable aspect of being a fellow. Being a fellow uh, gives you the opportunity to, um, to network, discuss, share ideas with uh, other fellow members. It's interesting science that's happening. You can actually see the sciences the sort of uh, quality of the science is going up from one year to the next. The alliance should just be the wind beneath your wings, but you should be able to fly on your own. Uh, don't expect that they will make you fly. You will be doing the flying.